Okay, so what we have here is a simple LED light. Uh, note on the LED light is that the shorter end, which would be this end here, is negative and the other one is positive. So the one on this side, the negative one, should always be grounded. Okay. So the shorter side is negative, the longer Long side is positive. Then you have your resistor. Um, uh, some people just skip over the resistors, but I recommend them because they let your uh, LED lights last a lot longer. So we have a simple resistor, and we have, just have two connection cables, basically, just insula insulated so we can just uh, branch them off the breadboard. Okay, so, so we have this to the side. With that to the side, you're also going to need a breadboard. One of these. You don't need any of these fancy little... Uh, components over here. You just need the components. You'll see those small holes in there. And what you'll do is you'll connect, say, if we were just to take this, put it in here, anything in this row is going to connect to itself. So you can always make a lot of uh, different outputs and inputs for the same uh, power source, which we're going to be using Arduino for. So we'll set this here, and we'll take our uh, simple, here, we'll take our Arduino board, thank you. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, for the simple blink, if you look really close, I think if I can point it out, right in here, somewhere over here, it's going to say LED pin 13 right there. LED pin 13, we're going to hook this right in there. And it's going to be coming out, so that's positive. It's going to be giving power through that LED pin 13 port right there. So we're going to lay this down for now, grab this, and then right next to the LED pin 13, is something that says GND, which is just ground. So this is gonna be your negative. And we're gonna hook that into there. So green is for positive, yellow is for negative. Okay. Now when we hook it up to the breadboard, we're gonna look at the, uh, so this one has uh, the red and the blue uh, negative and positive terminals, uh, the bus, I'm sorry. Uh, we're just gonna hook the green wire or the positive one into there. It doesn't really matter. It's just uh, easy for us to look at. So we're going to take the green, put it into the blue side, put it in there, oh my god, alright, take the yellow one, put it in the negative side, then we're going to take, oh excuse me, well, no, let's move to the side, when we move to the side, all we're going to do is make sure that they're not on the same row, if I can get this in the camera, uh, we're going to, this one's already in, this is in row 25, so we make sure that we don't put this yellow one on row 25 because it's all going to have the same power. So we're going to put it up a couple rows to include the resistor and space for resistor. So we're going to put this in, say, row 20. Over here. Now what we're going to do is connect the resistor in that same row of number 25 with the positive. It doesn't matter which uh, side if you put it after or before the LED light. It still has to, still has to go through this. So we're going to put it right next to the green you can see it sorry, sorry. okay so once you get in there you'll see it's right next to it the green and the resistor right here uh, it's going to be lined up next to it that's good because we want just that to connect and we're going to go up we're going to connect the resistor one row below the yellow so that we can include a connection between that and the LED light. Alright, see how that works there? The green, hopefully that doesn't fall. The green down here and the resistor are both connected. And then it comes from through the resistor comes down here and it's just one row below the yellow um, wire. Now what we're gonna do is since it's not connected, we're just gonna put our uh, LED light in here. Just make sure that you put the short one by the yellow, which we signified as negative, long one as uh, positive, which is just green. So short one is yellow, which would be the uh, end right here. So include this. That's in there. So right now we have a complete circuit. So this is going to set you up to do all kinds of different programming for that one light. You can uh, speed it up, slow it down, do whatever you want, but that's just a simple uh, breadboard diagram of that light.